Father's Day, actually, is about 7 p.m. Me and my two boys were swimming uh, alongside with my two neighbor boys. Uh, one of the boys was like, hey, y'all want to do a watermelon dive? And I'm like, sure, well, what is it? Oh, well, it's where you dive in head first and your hands are down by your, your legs. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no problem. Four foot pull, I know, I get it. Six, over six foot tall. No big deal, right? Normally dive, no issue. As I get out of the pool, I'm getting ready to dive and my youngest son, uh, six years old, uh, jumps in. And all I'm thinking as, as I'm diving is, oh crap, I'm gonna land on him. So my mindset was uh, just try to get up and get up over him so I don't land on him. And so the moment I did, I literally just put myself out at a bad angle where I was just like that. So as soon as I landed into the pool, it was just straight head to the ground. And immediately I knew it just, <sighs> I tried three times to get above water. So I'm just like, you know, uh, uh, and finally, like the third time, I was able to just get my head above water enough to just yell, help, help. And so my wife jumps in and she grabs me and she's like, are you joking? Are you serious? And I'm like, I'm serious, my neck, my neck. They, air, they ambulanced me to St. Francis and then air evac'd me to SLU. He ended up having a fracture dislocation for himself. He was very fortunate that at that point he did not have like a complete spinal cord injury, but that brings the onus on me because I have to fix it, making sure that we do not lose what he already has, right? So the moment I got into the room, I mean, just, I mean, they were there, they were waiting. And when I got in the room, there was just people just, you know, not into nothing. So it was an interesting case to begin with because we had to plan, like we had to have like plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, because it's complex, nothing goes as per plans because the spinal cord is very, very sensitive. You have to make sure that you do the case in such a way that it's safe. So we planned for the case, and then we planned for like, try to go from the front to stabilize his, his neck. We could see his spinal cord like right, on, right, right at our face. So we were trying to reduce it, we could not reduce it. At, so plan A did not work. But then we had a plan B, which was more innovative and not the routine way of fixing the spine. So we did like a corpectomy. What we do is like we take the complete bone out on one of the levels and then it was at an angle. So we had to put a cage inside is what we do to keep the two bones from falling apart. That cage was kept in a, such an angle that once we go from the back, it should fall back in place with a perfect alignment. So I don't have to go back inside, which is a unique way of doing it. So I'm resting on, on my old experiences on based on how I would expect things will fall once we go from behind. And then we put a small plate, which is not a routine thing. So I, I wanted to put a small plate so that the case does not fall down. So we went from behind, we reduced it and everything aligned perfectly as we, as we wanted it to. At the same time, making sure that the spinal cord was completely free of compression and making sure that he does not get any spinal cord in, injury. Dr. Potier, after his surgery, pulled me into a conference room and I lost it because he said he's going to be fine. And that's the only words I wanted to hear.